After buying my home almost two years ago, I have renovated and made over a lot of the inside spaces and now it's time to work on the backyard. Are we hosting now? I don't know. We just need my backyard to be done first. Previously on Making Home, I walked you through the whole front, back, and garage plan and we started some demo and so did my construction team. I was too scared. This team just decided to go up there. Here we go. My name is Kelsey, this is the Sorry Girls, and welcome back to my series all about making a house feel like a home. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this exterior makeover so far. It has been really exciting for me to see things start happening. I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long and things are moving so quickly. I also had some visitors last night that I think were pretty excited about what's going on. Ma'am? Oh my. Oh, it's so cute. You're so cute. How cute are they? I just wanted to like, adopt them <laughs> but on the list of things to do today because there is that built-in bench with the garbage and everything and i think the deck is going to be just like a little bit bigger on the driveway side i also made some moves on the garage doors i think the current plan is to potentially try to refinish them and just make sure that they get installed level and plumb and everything and that they actually function and close but right now i think they're unloading a truck of pavers that i literally went and picked out yesterday and now they're here like i picked it out like last night at 5 p.m and now there's a truck of pavers here for the front and back walkway <laughs> also it feels like i've not picked up the camera in so long i feel very awkward like i haven't just like talked to the camera you know I'm trying to figure out the size of the deck since I'm going to be adding a garbage bench built in. And the contractor had a slightly sturdier measuring tape. While the contractors are busy putting the exterior back together, I'm on my way to pick up the perfect exterior table, which is secondhand IKEA. Okay, never mind. JK did need the drill. The woman was like, I think it'll fit in your car. And usually it's the opposite. Usually they're like, that's not gonna fit. I'm like, trust me, it Honda fits. But yeah, she was like, let's just try it. And lo and behold, it fit without taking it fit without taking it apart. So this is just an IKEA table, but it's been out of stock and I really liked this table because it folds up and folds or it like has leaves kind of thing, which is great. So this will work well. It'll be great for just like two people and not take up a lot of room, but if I want to host more people, I can fit more. Okay, let's e-transfer her before I forget. All right, let's get back to the renovations. So I've actually had to spend some time away from the home because we were shooting Upgrade My Stay and just busy with other things. But during that time, they were able to finish the whole backyard, the back garden bed, the front walkway, the front garden bed walls, and of course, the back deck. So the contractors are all done now. The work is completed. And now, now it's my turn. 
to keep working because I don't know if you guys can tell, but is we ain't there yet. We're definitely not there yet. <laughs> So as you can see, I did have to cross some things off of my list. I just wasn't prepared to pay too much money for this renovation, so I decided that I wanted to do some of it myself to bring down the cost. So I still need to repair the front step wall. I wasn't able to touch the front stairs at all, so I'm thinking of maybe stripping the paint off of those and refinishing them in some kind of way. And then of course there's the garage doors here at the back. The whole middle section of the shared drive didn't get touched, so I think that that needs to be addressed, as well as a bunch of other things. But Overall, I'm really excited. So I think one of my favorite things about this makeover, <laughs> I think I'm a nerd. I'm just realizing this because most people, I don't think this would be their favorite part. But the fact that my trash is right here, so far it doesn't smell and it's just so convenient. And I'm really glad that it's not in the garage anymore. We have a built-in bench. It's kind of just a win-win-win. The, the moth thinks so too. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in some of those furniture pieces that I already had, bring them back into the space. I will mention that in the future, I do want to stain this wood. Um, it kind of annoys me that we have this old pressure treated wood that's kind of turned gray, which I actually kind of like the color of it, but I don't like the color of this new wood. I wish it was less orange, maybe more of like a brown that's in my brick but apparently I can't stain it yet. I have to wait for it to dry out. So this might be something that I do towards the end of this video, if not next year. This table definitely needs some sprucing up, but luckily it's just on the top. I really like this table because it is kind of small, but it does have leaves so that if I want to host more people, I will be able to. Are we hosting now? I don't know. Just need my backyard to be done first. Anyways, let's bring that thing in. I will need to refinish it though. But I'm really excited to see how it looks in this space. Oh my god, oh my god. I'll, I'll also be updating these chairs too, but there's nothing worse than getting a new deck and not being able to use it, right? Okay, so we could go like... Also, is it brunch time? Excuse me? And once breakfast was done, I moved out the table to sand it down and prep it for staining. So now that the front garden's a little bit more tidied up, ideally prepped and ready for some kind of garden collab with another YouTuber. It's coming up soon. Um, I am going to turn off the breaker. Did I turn off the breaker? Um, oh, if I just do this top switch, does that just disconnect everything? I'm gonna go with yes. There's a light outside that kind of got destroyed, I think, during my construction, one of those classic floodlights. So I'm gonna go put one of those up. Meow, for safety. One of these guys. This is something I'm really excited for because as you guys know, I wanna swap out my front door. It's not working for me. And I recently at the door store found this door. It's $350, like a secondhand vintage Toronto door. But before I picked that one up, we actually were in Prince Edward County working on an Upgrade My Stay episode, which should be out by the time you guys are watching this. And in that garage was an old door. Ain't it? Oh my God, this is literally the exact size of door I need. I wonder if Aaron and Alex would let me have it. So now I have that door. 
<laughs> which means that I didn't need to buy one. I didn't need to buy a new old one. Definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So that's just going to be my task here. How exciting! I just got a call. That article is at my house or arriving to my house um, to drop off my new sectional. This I've been waiting for. I feel like I haven't even been able to use my backyard. Not that it's like really even done yet, but this is the piece that's really gonna let me hang out and use it. And honestly, I built a whole backyard around this piece. Like I made sure that it would fit and that like the garden beds wouldn't be in the way because I knew I wanted a big loungy section. Oh my God. I wanted a big loungy section. Okay, bye, see you at the house. This sectional is gifted by Article, but I want to let you guys know that I wouldn't receive a gifted item unless it's something I would actually buy with my own dollar. So I had to run away from work to uh, accept this delivery. So I kind of should go back to work, but like obviously I really, really want to see this couch. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Let's try to let's try to get this set up. I looked for a sleek and cozy sectional that would fit in my space, and this was the top option. Article is a go-to for stylish and timeless high-quality furniture. Explanation point on the high quality. There is a flat rate of $49 for shipping in US and Canada, or free if your order is over $999. I don't know if I'll be able to move this by myself. Okay, I quickly realized that I think I need two people to set this up. It's kind of heavy, and I definitely don't want to risk scratching anything. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow. I chose the Lubeck sectional because I wanted a large lounging piece that didn't overwhelm my space. But with the low profile, sleek look and no arms, it's large without looking that way in my little backyard. So today is gonna to be one of the last days I'm working on this exterior space for a little while because I'm actually going on a little trip at West. So there are some things I wanna wrap up, including prepping this door because I have some contractors coming in while I'm gone to actually install it for me. So I need to make sure it's like ready to go, which is exciting because that means we're gonna be putting some color on it today. You guys did see me clean it, but I do need to wood fill any holes as well as sand it down to prep it for some prime and paint. I don't know what kind of paint or sealant is on here, so we're just gonna, you know? So while that first coat of primer dries, I'm gonna move on to refinishing this table. You guys saw me already sand this down and I picked up the appropriate stain from Ikea. They actually sell a stain to refinish their outdoor products in this line. So 
that's what we're gonna do. I'm thinking this should be really easy. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. I also know the previous owners left this uncovered in the snow, so um, I'm gonna plan not to do that. <laughs> Okay, now that the door is primed and dry, it's time to move on to the paint color, which I have been waiting for. So I went with the Benjamin Moore Aura Paint, the exterior, so this is gonna be good for my front door. It's already the end of July, and I actually wanted to do this when I was doing, what makeover was it? The front, the front entryway makeover, which was like in the winter. And then I realized that you can't paint like outside when it's below like 10 degrees. But this was my journey in trying to pick a paint color before. Um, okay, so to figure out what color to do the front door, um, I took a photo and I've been like sketching it on my iPad. I basically tried green doors and a black door. I wanna show you this, but I don't wanna reveal my address. I think the green could work too. Should I just do the green door? I just want it to be a different color than the fireplace because I just don't, I don't want people to walk in and be like, oh, I'm getting hit over the head with the same color green. But I think if I do a darker green, like more olivey and less sagey, who am I? I don't know. Oh, okay, let's do green door. So I did end up deciding going with the green. I think it just complemented the whole house the best. And I went for, you know, kind of an olivey mossy green, actually a mountain mossy green to be ex to be precise. Mountain moss. Um, I think this is gonna look beautiful on the door. And I actually went with a different color for my garage, which I also can't wait to paint because I don't like this color, but let's get to the door. So my tenant here actually has this little basil planter. The basil is doing so good. I definitely want to plant some more herbs around the property. But as you can see, the wood is a little worn out. So I asked her if I could stain it since I have lots of that stain from the black the back table. So we'll uh, give this a little fresh look here. Oh, you guys know about the basil. Last time we, um, we had drinks with the basil. Also, she told me that if I have a planter, which I have many of, let her know which planter and she'll plant some mint. So, I'm excited. And finally, to get this gorgeous color on the other side of the door. Okay, so I really wanna see this on the front porch, see how it's gonna look all together, but I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit longer. And in the meantime, I need to work on the inside of this garage. Um, I feel like you guys have seen me clean this out a couple of times now, but 
I just like don't want to throw I just don't want to throw anything out until I know that I'm not going to need it but while I am away on this trip the contractor that's going to be installing the front door for me has also offered to install some shelves because they know that I was going to be putting in some shelves in the back here they're like well scrap wood we'll just whip it together and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing so I want to make sure it's nice and cleaned cleared out cleaned out and cleared out so that nothing's in the way but um a lot of junk in here I feel like I just felt something go down my shirt <laughs> I feel like I literally need to vacuum out here, but that's a later meat issue. Um, you guys may have noticed that there were more pillows here. I may have stolen a couple. Let me show you what I did with them. So I got this lounger from Article when I redid my small deck at my last apartment. And it is, it is just like, you know, lounger, but I kind of turned it into a couch. The fabric matches super well. And then now I have a nice little corner couch. And I think I can do like different pillows between here and in the backyard sectional to kind of like bring in some color, but so good, right? I've definitely already sat out here during a thunderstorm and just like watched, watched the thunderstorm. It was a vibe. Anyways, even though the door is not getting installed today, I really want to see it at least in the space. And I think I'll end up painting this trim a green color too. I'm not really decided, but something else I've not decided on is this. I don't, I don't have a doorbell. My house is kind of small, so I don't really need one. Um, but this is a door knocker and normally it wouldn't be my style. It's like a little, <laughs> Sorry, I don't hold that. <laughs> I don't think that's like ever happened. It's <laughs> like, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. The door knocker normally wouldn't be my style, but I will say that I have this little thing with dragonflies. It's just, you know, everybody has their own thing. I'm gonna take this off. Maybe it'll go on my new door. I'm not really sure. You know how good that works though? Listen, well, it's gonna make you deaf, but. Hear that? The echo? Don't make me the same situation as a shelf, it's just magic. Also, like, come on, a vintage cast iron door knocker. I also see why they needed it. This door looks even more hideous without it. Anyways, let's go look at that door. I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. I'm hoping I can make it work, but I just can't commit. I wanna see the doorknobs on first because that'll also change my mind, you know? I'm loving the way this is looking. I definitely need to like fix up these edges here. I really don't know what else I could do. It's like the back side of the, you can just see through it because it's glass and it's like really hard to get it tight there. I really wish they had like tintable caulking because I kind of just want to like caulk in here. Is that a thing? Am I making that up? Can I make that up? Is this my new business? I don't know. Anyways, I think it's time to go see how this is going to look at our front door. Our front door? My front door. Your front door? If I paint like the whole trim too. I think that about wraps up this episode of Making Home. I know there's still some things that are left unfinished, but I do have one or two more episodes of this whole backyard. We have the garage to organize inside, uh, to paint on the outside and inside, gardening and landscaping, as well as a bunch of final touches that will bring this whole 
place together. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already for more DIY and design content. And I'll see you next time. Bye!